Hey everybody, it's Jen with Two Sister Bees. Welcome to the channel. Today we are going to be doing some cash stuffing. Getting into this budget binder where some super exciting stuff has been happening in here, you guys. And I saved all of the exciting parts for you. And this week's personal mini challenge where I give you a different task to do each week. You obviously accept and then you save money. Let's get into it. Okay, so I'm not even gonna waste any time. We're gonna get to the really good part, and that is the budget binder. So much has happened this week, and I cannot wait to show you guys. Okay, so I moved everything out of the way because I need space. <laughs> and let's see what we've got going on here. Okay, so here's my debt trackers. And as you guys know, last week we sold this RV and we knocked out a $32,000 debt. So guess what we get to do today? Break up with this debt. Bye-bye, State Farm. Next, Wells Fargo Visa. Look at that juicy interest rate, you guys. Yikes. So, uh, yesterday. I made a payment of $468. That was from my credit and debt envelope. And I was left with $59.67. Then today, Jason and I were talking. We've been watching a little Dave Ramsey lately. So this morning, we decided to break up with Wells Fargo. And I made the payment this morning of $6,060.70. Yesterday it was $59.67. So I don't know what that's all about, but paid off zero balance. So guess what we get to do now? Break up with Wells Fargo. Bye bye, Wells Fargo. <laughs> okay, on to the next. I think you guys are starting to see a pattern here, yeah? Oh, for sure. Sam's Club, same thing, juicy interest. All right, so if you've been following along, you know that I returned a patio set. I kind of decided, again, after watching Dave Ramsey, that I didn't need that patio set and I certainly didn't need it at that cost. So I was waiting for that refund to go through. It did, as you can see, I made the payment, zero dollars. So guess what we're doing? You guessed it. Breaking up with Sam's Club. Bye, Sam's Club. All right, you guys. <laughs> I had to wait for you to do that on video. So excited. Cannot even express to you. We are now down to one card. And this was the furniture that we purchased for the house that we are in now. It is 0%. I think I put until, and obviously you see it's blank. I think it's until October of next year. But we have a plan. We are going to have this paid off by mid-July. You're crazy. I know, that does sound crazy. But when you work the snowball, all of those payments that used to go towards 20 different creditors is now back in your pocket and it all goes so much faster. So if you have not started the snowball debt method yet, I want you to go grab your lowest debt bill, get it out, look at it and tell it you're going down. I hope you do this. It feels so good to know that this is it. Last one, we will be done. And Dave Ramsey also says, to not take on more debt when you're doing this snowball method and lesson learned, Mr. Ramsey, this is the newest debt that we have. And of course it's the last one that we have to pay off. We're gonna get there. So here is my spending trackers and this is where we left off. So what I did this time is I put check marks next to anything that had to do with the girls' visits, and I put a star next to anything that I know deep down in my soul is not a necessity. So as you can see, there's, there's quite a few of those. So I got some work to do. I know I do. And what I'm going to do to fix my slow decline is dedicate the month of June to no spend. 
I'm gonna do it, you guys. So the last thing we're gonna do together is we are going to write paid and paid on the Sam's Club and Wells Fargo Visa cards. And real quick, I don't know if you guys noticed this, Again, just to show you how the debt snowball really works for you. From May 17th, which was, what, th two and a half weeks ago? We made payments of 663, 2073, and 468, all of which were from my binders. And then we finally made that last payment of 6060. And we did all of that in such a short amount of time thanks to the debt snowball method. I just, I still can't get over this. I'm so excited. <laughs> okay, so I'm so excited. I'm sure that you saw at some point in this video, my notes got kind of in the way. And then I was showing my wall over there. I know, I'm such a weirdo, but it was fun. It was worth it, right? Okay, so let's go ahead and put paid on both of those cards as of today and yesterday and we are down to the last one yes all right you guys so let's get to the cash stuffing part of the video but before i do i want to extend a huge thank you to the hive you guys are what made all of that possible. And I really mean that. This channel has given me accountability, has kept me on track, and letting me know all of your little wins and big wins, and just showing me how motivated you are motivates me and Jason to keep going. So thank you guys. You guys are so the best. I can't even tell you. All right, so let's get to the cash stuffing. And today I have $493. Let's count this up, 150, 170, 190, 210, 230, 250, 270, 290, 310, 330, 350, 270, 390, 410, 20, 30, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 66, 480, 493. All right, you guys. So we do have 493 in cash. And let's go ahead and start with the pink binder. Okay, first is my car tag. And this one gets 5, 15 total. Next is my car insurance. And that gets 20. Two. Car insurance, one, two, three, 380, 390. This one, it says vehicle upkeep. I was using it for my RV insurance, which as you know, no longer exists. But I think I am gonna actually use it as a vehicle upkeep for my car and I will start to stuff this next week and that will obviously be for repairs, tires, things like that. So not gonna let this cute little envelope go to waste. Getaways gets 50 and is now up to 100, 200, 250, 270, 290, 310, 20, 30, 40, 340. Medical gets 61. <laughs> I'm sure you noticed my hesitation there. I'm like, what does this get? 61. And this one is really getting up there. We're getting pretty close to making the deposit. Let's see just how close we are. Medical has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 9.44. So next week, yes. I will have the 1,000, right? Yes, I will have 1,005. So I will be putting a placeholder in there and depositing that into my savings account. Yay. 
Next, we're gonna move on to the blue binder. This is my bills, they make me feel blue. No, I'm just kidding, I'm kidding. Anyway, so I'm going to use, if you've been following along and you already know, I use prop money for my bills. The reason I do that is I started to kind of ask myself, why are you taking cash out just to put it right back in for your auto pays? It just didn't make so much sense to me. So I started to use prop money. I wanted to see how I did with it. And I think I'm on maybe four or five weeks of doing this and I actually really like it. So what I do is I have $1,415 of prop money here. And in reality, I just take $1,415 from our regular checking account and I put it into my bills only checking account. And I also have a $100 buffer in there, just in case you never know, but that I think that that buffer is sufficient. And if you're new and you're wondering, why are you doing it that way? Let me explain. It does keep me on track. I like having the visual and being able to look at the back of each envelope and know in that bills checking account, X amount is for the rent. X amount is for the water, which separating them from the variable spending has made tracking my variable spending a lot easier to do. So you don't necessarily have to use prop money, but I like it. So I'm gonna keep doing the prop money. So let's get into it. So home sweet home, that is our rent. That gets 875. Yes, that is excessive, but we are in California. But the best part is we don't actually pay for our rent like husband's company does. Huge perk, but that is why we moved from our home state of Florida all the way across away from all of our family and friends. But we have a plan, as you can see, and it is working. So we're okay with what is happening over here in California. Water gets 30. Water has 20, 40, 60, 75, 6, 7 and 120 in prop for a total of 197. Electric gets $70. So electric now has 150 in cash and 260 in prop for 10 total. Vehicle payment. You guys, that's the RV and we all know it is gone. I have no vehicle payments on anything anymore. I threw that on the floor in case you're wondering to buy vehicle payments. From now on, cash. Utrid, my little buddy, he gets 50 and he had to end up getting another medication because the first one did not work. So I picked up another medication for him uh, the other day, yesterday, and uh, hopefully that one works. We'll see my poor little Uchi. All right, so Uhtred is up to 231. Mama D, she is definitely cleared out. We paid her mortgage and the last of the Xfinity bill. So she has 467 in there currently and she gets 315 a week, 782 total. And next is my credit and debt. So now that the Wells Fargo is paid off, this will be going to Synchrony and this will be substantially higher next week. But let's go ahead and just stick with what we were doing for now. And if you are part of the Hive, you also know that any savings challenge that I complete also goes towards credit and debt. Okay, you guys, it is personal mini challenge time. Now, some of you may hate this one. Some of you may love it, but let's talk about our past mini challenges just for a minute, because some of them are ones that I hope that you are all continuing. You can just keep going with these. They don't have to just be for one week. The number one big spending category that we have, mine was obviously food, DoorDash and groceries. I have been doing pretty good with those, especially being that the pantry challenge and the meal planning were our last two mini challenges. Those have helped significantly with my grocery bill. The third one that I really hope you guys are sticking with is the electricity bill, especially with summer coming. So keep up with that one. So this week, okay, you guys are either going to love me or hate me for this one, but what I want you to do, and don't freak out when I say it, just relax, take a breath. <sighs> okay, you guys, 
I want you to challenge yourself to cut, <laughs> with that word, you know it's coming now, one of your monthly subscriptions huh? just for one week. Come on, just one week and see if you even miss it. Guess what I did? I already did this challenge. How'd it happen? How'd you do it? I cut Hulu and I never thought I could cut Hulu. I cut it about three weeks ago. That was costing me $90 a month because I had the live TV added onto mine. If you are new to the channel, Jason and I travel for his job and Jason and I lived on and off, mostly on in an RV for well over 10 years. And we thought we needed it, but there's this app called Pluto. And I'm sure you guys know about it. It has your local channels, your news, your weather, all your shows, and it's free. I have been throwing away $90 a month. I'm so mad at myself now that I have found Pluto, you guys. Okay, so there's $90 a month that I'm saving right off the bat, and I do not miss Hulu at all, being honest. I also cut Netflix back to their basic no HD plan. I think it's like $9.99 a month. So I'm saving, I don't know, I think $10 or $11 a, a month there. You guys, I cut off Instacart two days ago, $99 a year, total waste of money. So Instacart is gone. And I cut off DoorDash just this morning. Here I am over here canceling it. Bye-bye DoorDash. So with all of these subscriptions that I have cut, I am now saving $128 a month. That is $1,536 per year. Whoa. Okay, I didn't even know it was that much until I added it all together. So I tell Jason that I'm doing that I did this. I'm not doing it. I already did it. I told Jason that I did it. And when he heard the yearly amount that we were saving, he's like, Jen, how much are we saving over five years? So let's do the math. As I said, we are saving $1,536 per year. Jason wanted to see the five years. $7,680 saved just by cutting Instacart, DoorDash, Hulu, cutting back my Netflix, almost $8 thousand dollars. So come on you guys, do it with me. Challenge yourself to cut just one and I want you to comment below which one you are going to try first. <laughs> Notice I said first because the goal here is for you to possibly do more. Once you see you don't miss it and I don't think you will. April and I always talk about how these subscriptions didn't even exist not that long ago you guys I just got into like Amazon I don't know maybe six years ago I don't I don't know not that long ago and isn't it funny how the human race survived <laughs> without all of these subscriptions <laughs> very funny very funny very funny well we did so come on guys do it with me comment below which one is getting the axe Back to cash stuffing, white binder. Husband always gets his 50. I think he's kind of liking this uh, $50 a week that he gets in his envelope. He's been doing so good with not swiping that debit card and I'm so proud of him for being on board with all of this. Thank you, husband. Groceries, I am skipping this because I did get groceries yesterday. I got enough for four meals, leftovers, and I also went grocery shopping a few days ago, the day that my daughter flew out. I got a few things then, so I do not need any groceries, definitely for the week, maybe even two. Jolene gets her 25. I sent out her card yesterday. Big give, you guys, what are we doing for the big give this time? I thought about it last night for a little while, and I couldn't come up with anything. I wanted to talk to Jason about it tonight and see what his input is. You are more than welcome to comment what you think. 100, 200, 
and $50 could be donated to. Bougie is getting 70 because I need it. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. No, she's not. I have a hair appointment coming up uh, in three weeks for my roots and I was gonna skip it and, and push it out and just use root powder, but um, we just found out our other kids are coming to visit from New York, so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get it done. So 50, 70, 90, 110, 120. Because I don't want my groggies out while the kids are here. Thrifting's getting skipped, takeout's getting skipped, little Mr. Uchard training is not getting skipped. You guys, yesterday, he was so bad on his walk. He's not bad, I hate, <laughs> I probably shouldn't say that. He's not bad, he's just very pushy. He is a bully, English Bulldog, he is. So, Uchard training, 50, 70, 90, 110, 120, 125. Okay, so I don't know if you guys noticed my camera was starting to like migrate over here. Something was pushing on the arm and it was just slowly starting to drift out. So anyway, I was getting to the purple binder and I did it without you. I put $50 in Emergen B and I put 25 in birthday wishes. And that was it for this binder. So you didn't miss much. So the last thing I'm gonna do is my one and my five dollar challenges, ten. And this one, I usually only put ten, but today we are doing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twenty, twenty-five. And do you want to know why? <laughs> because these are the grossest, nastiest ones. I will not use these for cash stuffing, so let's hide them. All done with that. So yesterday I got some mail from my sister and I love getting mail from her. She sent me the kit for July and the theme is vacation to savings. This is the main game and I'm gonna link her video right here so you guys can check that out where she goes into detail about everything you are seeing here. Look at this scratch off you guys, it is a little suitcase. Oh my goodness. And this is my favorite. It's meant to look like an Instagram post. How cute is that? Hashtag scratch and save, hashtag vacation to savings. I love this. The link to her shop is Below in the description, there's a Kofi shop where this stuff is available and there's also an Etsy shop. So they're both down there for you guys. In the meantime, if you have not subscribed to Two Sister Bees, click the button over here in the corner and here's your next video to watch so you can keep watching Two Sister Bees.